Mike and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In this video we're going to be doing a quest for the Baron. He knows some information about Ciri but he's withholding it because he wants us to do something for him. And he, his, his daughter and his wife went missing I think like maybe a few weeks ago or something and he wants us to um, help try and find her and the first, way, first thing we're going to do to try and find them is locking their bedrooms and investigate any signs of where they might have gone. So um, the, the bloody Baron has when she was a babe, walked up here. Loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. So this is... which one's this? The daughter's room? I'm not sure. So, um... Oh god, look at this! He did say don't make a mess, but he didn't say anything about stealing. So I'm gonna take that stuff, the gold ring, that looks valuable. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Alright then. That's one thing we can look at, that's red. No normally you wanna look at the red things to find out in the solution to a quest. Walls a different colour. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Well, this painting. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Alright, let me just check this box quickly. Oh my god, more gold rings. Silver pantaloons? What? <laughs> Alright, so there's something on this wall. If we go around it... Alright, they got the book game, the wardrobe. Gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. Alright, so it looks like someone rammed that candlestick into the wall. And they went through the wardrobe and part of it broke off, then they covered it up with the picture. So, what else can we look at? It's a vase. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Alright, what else? Um, there's some stuff on the ground here next to the table. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. So can we follow the scent? Here we go. It goes out of the room. Um, down the stairs. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Mm -hmm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Are we not checking the other room? Because there was another room up here that was highlighted on the map. Let's just have a look inside quickly. Steal some stuff. Rusty key. Hmm. Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Let's see if we can find what that unlocks. If there's any valuables. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. Alright, this is another scent that we just found. And it goes down the stairs even further than the other scent. Could you does it go in there? The no, it doesn't. It goes down the stairs, I think, doesn't it? What the yep. Let's see where this leads to. Bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up. Oh my god, it goes quite far. Down into um, where they keep all the stock, it seems. Wolf hide. I think they're quite valuable then. Water. Why would you put just some coins and a pipe in a barrel? Alright, let's continue the quest. 
locked. We got the key, so we unlocked that. That's good. Um, it leads over here. An altar. So the eternal fires made it to Velen. All right, then that's the only quest complete. I don't even know what we really found out there. An altar. So let's go back to the Baron. He's upstairs, and we'll let him know what we found out. All right, then back upstairs to the Baron. He's waiting for us. Let's speak to him. Done poking around. Know anything about this amulet? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Alright then, I'm off to see the Pella then. I wanna have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and ploughs his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Alright then, find the Pella's hut. It's 400 metres away. In feet even. I think it's feet. It's quite far. I think he's outside the, the, um, the castle, isn't he? He'd be in like, the village area. Alright, so the Pella is actually outside the whole compound. He's in it, living in a hut, like somewhere else in the in the forest or something. Alright then, so we're now approaching the Pella's hut. It was quite a long ride away. It was like through a couple of villages and all sorts, like little um, communities. Here we go, it's a hut in the woods. So some people are knocking on the outside of his house trying to get in. I can, I can sense a fight. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Um, if I had delusion level 2, I could tell them to leave and control them. But I can't. So I'll pay you. No, I'm not going to pay you. Leave or die. That's what I'm saying. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors paid top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Oh, hello. Right, let's do this. Damn it. Ow. I'm trying to mix up the signs a little bit as well, because I normally use the shield one all like all the time. Just mix up a little bit, you know, use the fire one here and there. This is quite good for groups, like knocking them back. Let's go and get this, um, get out the crossbow, because they can do a lot of damage to you if they land the shot. Ow. Should be alright. Deal with the guy with the um, 200 weapon at the end. Because they're quite deadly. If they block and you hit them, they deal damage to you. And they got quite a hard hitting swing as well. Stab him in the heart. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Let's loot these corpses as well. Get all the weapons so we can sell them, you know, make some extra cash. safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. <clears throat> I 
Alright, so this guy is the Pella, and we can ask him for help. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. Protect her from what? So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Um, okay, I'll find your goat. Will you help? Do we have to sacrifice the goat, or just does it just know things? Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow! But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries! Raspberries, too! Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Alright, so quest items. You have a new quest item. Prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel. Then select it from the quick access, access menu. So, um, we got a bell, didn't we? Alright, so the bell is in the inventory. Um, item needed to complete a quest. So R1 should be the bell. So find Pella's goat using the bell and your witcher senses. So if we walk around inside the circle, ring the bell while using the sensors, we should be able to find the goat. This way, I think. Okay, the goat's over there. We can see it already. If we just head over to it. Is it running away? Where's it gone? Is there something on the ground there we can look at? Another clue. We've got some dogs approaching us, we'll have to fight these. Sweet! Let's loot these dogs, get some meat if we can. You know, the, the dog meat does quite a good healing, so... Especially the liver. Right, there's another dog over there. But, um, we can avoid that for now. Okay, the goat's over there. I think the red flashing thing has got to be the goat, isn't it? Honeysuckle. We may need some of this stuff in the future. We may as well pick it up as we pass. Good. So we're still heading in the right direction. Princess. Is she getting attacked? Or we got to escort it? Here, princess. What do I do? Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Use the bell and lead the goat to this pillar. Oh god, I gotta keep ringing the bell and make it follow me. Let's go see the pillar. Is it coming? There it is. This way, your grace. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? So I'm gonna spam the bell and just keep running towards him. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, take you back to the pillar. Misses you something awful. Uh, I think it's stopped. We've, we must have gone too far away. Where the hell did you go? Uh, 
Come here. Princess. Princess. Oh, def oh my god. It's a bear. I'm going to get the um, shield on this because they think they hit quite hard. There we go. Brought my shield already. Let's get the shield back, then we'll go in. We'll use a potion as well. Just so we can do a bit more damage. You get loads of hits on bears because they move so slow. Nice. Yeah, bears are actually quite easy to kill as long as you do enough damage and you can kill them quick enough. You can get them in like a, a big combo on them, you know, do loads of hits. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? So as long as the, as the goat is inside the mini map, it should be close enough for us to keep running. Is it stopped? No, let's go. You better we just picked it up, wouldn't it? <laughs> just sprint it off. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Is it still it's it's kinda of stopped over there? Alright. That was a fun quest, I guess. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. So, will you help now? Let's do this. Let's do this. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. A living being? Fine. Be right back. So we're doing this like ritual to speak to the spirits, they said, didn't they? To find out where the um the mother and daughter have gone. What does that mean? Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. What, the, the Baron's daughter was pregnant, was she? How old was she? Miscarriage. Oh, his wife's Foul miscarriage. Tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. So the child, what happened to it? What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. 
is a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the White Wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. So I need to know where the botchling is. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. So read the beastry to learn more about botchlings. And also, we've got a question about talking to the Baron. So let's just read the beastery quickly. Um, there we go, botchlings. <laughs> it's like baby shadows. So just we're just reading the um, the weaknesses, the axi sign. Isn't that the pushback one, the telekinetic? I think it might be. I'm not sure. I'll check in a minute. I can't be honest reading all that. So um, let's see if that's the quest complete. Yeah, just got to talk to the Baron now. Got to get back to him. I oh, know the axi sign is um, the mind control sign. It's that's what the um, botchlings are weak to. So we'll keep that in mind if we have to fight one. First of all, we'll go back to the Baron. Oh shit, we're approaching the um, the Baron's home and his, his house is on fire by the looks of it. We're not actually in the village yet. You can see on the left hand side there, it's all... The roof is on fire. The roof! And now there's a gap in the bridge. Holy shit, can we jump that? Can we jump that? Oh! No, didn't make it. Okay. How are we getting in? Let's get off the horse, see if we can jump up. Here we go, that was a good jump. Alright, I think the horse has teleported back over across the, across the bridge. Here he is. So we'll get on the horse and we'll make our way and see what we can do to help and see what happened. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Um, here to see the Baron. Oh, I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Uh, I took a side quest on here quickly. Let's try and save the um, stable hand. Right, there's the door. Can we go for the front door? Is that safe? Oh, I can't go through that door, it seems. There's a ladder we can climb to get on top of the top of it. Get inside the top of it, I mean. See if we can use our sensors. Loot! Give me that stuff. <laughs> Even in fire, I can't help myself. Can we get past this aim? Here we go. Right. I think we have to drop down, don't we? Stable master, there he is. Okay, how are we getting out? Open the main gate to the stables. Is that over here? Can we just push through? How do we open it? Oh, let's try the axis at the um, the hard sign. That didn't work. Open. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I pressed X loads of times. It didn't work. That's all you had to do. or after you beat her to a pulp. What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Oh, is it? what's this? A fist fight? Bad idea. Oh my god, there's so much damage. They ran from you, didn't they? Ah. 
You can't use. Why can't I not use my signs? It's a fist fight. What's this guy doing running, running over? Ow. I can't drink or either or eat food. I think you can always land like two hits when you do land a hit. So like like this now, get two hits in, back off. There we go, that works. Oh kick to the face, like endless and silver that was. So he was being so nice to me because, we like, he knew he'd done something wrong. Alright, so it turns out he was a coward all along. You know, he was being quite nice to me because he, you know, he knew that he'd done something wrong. Killed his wife and kid. <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. All right, on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they ran away. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? How did they flee? What happened? They didn't run away, you drove them out. No matter, I know how to find them. Gotta admit I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. So tell me how it really was. Um, not interested. Don't much care what you have to say. I'm supposed to find your family, and I will, with your dead baby's help. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? <laughs> fucking botchlings? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Let me explain, you don't need the details. Um, A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh... Hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Alright, so where did you bury the fetus? Show me. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. For now guys, I'm going to do Come Get You Later, and we'll end the video here. Because that's all we've really got time for for this video. And um, start the next video, we'll just start this up and say let's do this to the guy. Need to tend to something first. Be quick. And me, what am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Alright, so that's the quest right there waiting for us to start. So um, we'll do that in the next video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.